it would be fair to go ahead and start with Benny and, you know, give him and, you know, that whole team their flowers and all of that for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Shout out to uh, Benny the Butcher, Griselda, and all of them. Hit boy, definitely. Burden of proof. 100%. Shout out to Shady Records. No, let's not shout no, out no, no, to Shady no. Records. No, I want to shout out to Shady Records. All right, go ahead. Shout out to Shady Records for not signing Benny <laughs> <laughs> and not fucking up his career. Yep. Because I like what Benny's doing, man. I mean, I like what Conway and Westside are doing, too. Mm-hmm. But they're doing the same thing Benny's doing. Uh-huh. They're just getting their money taken from them and not getting no budget put behind them. Ooh. So, um, shout out to Shady Records for not signing Benny. I mean, they haven't really, <laughs> they haven't really put out any projects for Griselda. Mm. The West Side Gun album, Who Made the Sunshine, is the first Shady Records project by Griselda. Yeah, but what about Paris? Pray for Paris. Nope. That wasn't Shady? That's that not wasn't Shady. Shady. That's not Shady. Then what was that? Then? <laughs> yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm confused about. I believe about. that's, yeah. Yeah, because that was his debut album. The Who Made the Sunshine was his debut album. If we go oh, to... Just a mixtape or something? Or what yeah, pray, for Pil- mm-hmm. pray for Paris is Griselda Records only. It's a Griselda Records release. Just like uh, Fly God is an Awesome God 2. That is a Griselda that is Records, a Griselda Records Griselda Re- Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Right now. Well, well, shout out to Shady first. for really fumbling the bag because two of West Side's best projects are not under, not even under, under your umbrella. Yeah. Like, Shady Records is good for fumbling the bag for sure. <laughs> you can that definitely quote. applaud them and, and shout out to them for that. Definitely. Yeah, ask that quote. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> ask Obi. Oh my ask gosh. Because Obi. Obi was supposed to be up next. Ooh. But yeah, um back to back to uh, uh Benny, the butcher. The butcher coming, nickel. Butcher coming. Yeah. Hey, this was a dope project, man. This is a dope project. Hit boy has not missed. No. He hasn't. I, I like the record. I like the record. I'm going to say some things, though, that y'all might not like. Unpopular nah, opinions, sir. Nah, nah. Spit that. Unpopular Look, opinions? Uh, so check this out, all right? Benny, thank you. Thank you for doing what you do, all right? What you do. This was technically what I'd say, what? This is his debut, mainstream debut record, right? Correct. Yeah. I would say that, too. Mainstream debut. Like, second record, but mainstream debut, like, studio record. Right, and he gave us what we know Benny for giving us. All right, the, the beats, yeah, the beats, the bars. He's speaking truth. He's speaking passion. But at the end of the day, for me, it was still blim. Hmm. That's I it. That. It was blim, bro. Like he had some standouts. He had some standouts. Uh, thank God I made it. I love that record. Um, Famous yeah. was nice. Uh, where would I go was a nice record, but for the most part, um, I I could fall asleep listening to the record. Mm. Mm. Is it is it too 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 many bars? Too many bars, not enough songs. Mm. That, okay, I I had I had that same kind of gripe with this. I mean, I know what I'm getting. I feel like I this was his most Grisella. earnest effort into actually making songs. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would. I, I could say that, but I, the songs yeah. that were actual songs were all featured, and he wasn't doing the hooks. Yeah, like they didn't go for him and Hit Boy trying to, you know, let's just give one a shot and see what happens. Yeah, you know, I'm they kind of they stayed in in the pocket of yeah. you know Benny's content yeah. and let Hit Boy just do what he did and made sure the production was polished yeah. and you know what I'm saying spaced out in the right areas and shit like that. And then of course, I mean, quality music. Uh, where would I go? I would say I could do without Rick Ross's verse. I Sorry, feel I feel you know, that. like I'm just like I I felt like I don't even know how many bars he had, but I felt like it was too long and it wasn't it wasn't for me. I'm like he was just going everywhere and anywhere with it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, so I mean, whatever, whatever. I I do like the idea of him doing a song with with Queen Nyjah. That was like probably the most single type of record. You feel me? Because you have the R. That was the most industry forced Ooh. song yeah. on on the album mm-hmm. because this song is this album isn't like an industry standard album. Like I said, like there's. Not too many hooks. It's a lot of bars. Mm-hmm. It's not formatted like mm-hmm. the actual, the average album is. 
is yeah. normally formatted. But coming across that song with that hook, it's a little like, okay, I see where you're trying to go. Right, yeah. yeah. I see where you're trying to go on this. Like, this isn't necessarily your lane, mm-hmm. but I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, for a, for a rap album where I'm looking at it for being Benny, I give him a nine. For mm-hmm. a rap album nowadays, just a rap album, a full album of hip hop, you got like maybe a seven. Okay. What do you say to those that that uh, that put Griselda um, now in the same category or on the same level as like a TDE, a Dreamville, or you know any number of one of these other clicks and crews or QC that that's been kind of putting putting music together and have their own run? Yeah, you know like, what? I, because there's some people that say that Griselda had a better year than Dreamville last year. I think. That uh, hmm. when it comes to the independent uh, clicks, Griselda is doing their thing. And I love Griselda's music, but they're going to have to bend a little bit more for the industry in order to be on that same TDE level and that Dreamville level for me. I might disagree. You do? Talk I might disagree a little bit. Hmm. I might disagree and, and think that, that, that they need to stay exactly the way that they are. Hmm. And not conform to the industry because them staying the way they are has garnered that much attention because everybody's like, okay, you guys are like real against the grain, yeah, and real and, and not trying to conform, yeah, and it's becoming something, yeah. And and, and honestly, if you if you look at the way like people compare like the sounds of TDE and Dreamville, yeah, you know what I'm saying. When you look at when you look at TDE, you look at Dreamville, and then you bring QC into the equation. They're yeah. doing something that's completely different than both of these crews. You that's know what I'm saying? Like the sound of Dreamville and TDE can can be a really good marriage sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I, but you got to find the right pieces if you're gonna have somebody from QC on a on a TDE record or or a, or a Dreamville record or what have you, right? Yeah. So I think that it's good that Griselda also can come into that conversation with their own sound, with their yeah. own direction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they do have their own lane and it there's a place for it. And I think that they're they're making a place for that again now. Do you think That's- Griselda can get out of just the hip hop lane where other people know who they are doing what they're doing? That's my question. Yes. And yep. that's because West Side Gun the oh. fly god is an awesome god. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's probably the same. And he's trying to he's trying to do a lot of different things with uh with branding the 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 fashion and different little different little partnerships and shit that like he's trying to get he's trying to get his feet his foot into different places. That's why he's saying, nigga, right. at the end of this year, I'm going to retire. I'm done rapping, nigga. I'm like 36, 37 <laughs> years old. If I'm going to lead uh Benny and yeah. Conway and Griselda Records, uh, uh, they got uh, fucking uh, Armani Caesar and uh, yeah. who else is on the label now? Uh, they just know, got I'm... shout out to Armani Caesar. She is that dope. Was... Yeah, I've that's... been looking into her the past mm-hmm. over this weekend. Yeah, and she is nice. Yeah, she got like bars, bars. Yep. I'm like, okay, okay. I, 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 agree I, with you. I... Know West Side Gun is the one that's going to do it for him. Yeah, Westside is like the executive producer of all of of all of their. He damn near like runs Griselda. Yeah, Boldy James. That's what I was thinking. My bad. Oh, Boldy James. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, Hit Boy did his thing. Benny did his thing. Yes. Uh, overall, yeah, good good music, good album. I, I think I, I think that um, it, it's dope that Hit Boy is getting his flowers this year because with the with the Nas record, with the Big Sean record, with this record, um, he's he's been putting in a lot of work, and it's Absolutely. been it's been it's been uh, beneficial for each of these artists in different ways. 